Hi everyone, this is Michael Rock. It's been a long time since I've uploaded my last video. And one of the reasons is just because I was making videos for the official classing YouTube channel and I've made a lot of videos. You can check them later. I'll drop a link down below in the description and there you can get some tips and also get more familiar with some basic features. And today I invite you to take a quick look at some new features that have been released with the recent updates and also get some inspiration and check different ways how to use them in your teaching scenarios. And we're gonna start with the shape recognition. I think this feature is really amazing because it improves your workflow and saves your time. And in my opinion, it's just all about these small things that when you combine them together, they provide you so much more flexibility. So to use a shape recognition, choose a paintbrush and start to draw any shape you like. So for example, I want to draw a circle and I'm not good at drawing, especially with a mouse, but here comes the trick. After you finish drawing a shape, just continue holding the left mouse button and it automatically changed to a perfect shape. So this feature works for lines, circles and rectangles. So imagine a situation that you are explaining something and you need to quickly switch between different shapes and lines while teaching. And of course, before you could open paintbrush tab and switch between different shapes. But now just need to hold the left button and that's it. So that's really cool stuff, especially with the fact that it recognizes any kind of shape, even if you draw it not so well. <laughs> and also, I want to mention that this new paint style brush is for me looks just awesome. Okay, so the next one is the eraser. And I need to mention here that it only works with the content that you've created with a paintbrush. Okay, let's take a quick look at that and I find this still very convenient because before if you drew something and maybe you need to delete only a part and just you had no choice but to delete the whole object. But now you can use a razor and erase some parts of the content that you've created with a paintbrush. So basically it has three different sizes. In the most of cases I go with the middle size and I like to turn on and turn off it with a shortcut command E. Well, if you're using Windows, you can go with Control E. So when I draw, I just easily switch between paintbrush and razor by pressing Command E, Command P, and it makes the workflow so much easier, especially when I'm in the class. Okay, let's move further. And the next cool feature is a window layout. Window layout is a huge time saver, especially when it comes to online teaching, because when you have to deal with some technical stuff and you do it slow, I think the whole teaching process, it gets less funky, I would say. <laughs> so what I mean is, uh, let me show you an example. For example, I want to bring several students on stage uh, or bring one student on stage and courseware or bring courseware, student and tool together. So before you need to drag them to the blackboard first and resize every single window one by one, just to make them fit together perfectly and it takes time. So imagine you do it and yeah, your students kind of get bored while you're doing this. So the whole thing changed with the window layout because now you can choose from a template how everything is going to be positioned or even create your personal template that fits your requirements. And the only thing that you need to do is to drag and drop different objects holding shift button. You see how does it work? Easy and brings your speed and workflow to a whole new level. All right, so the next feature that I'd like to show you is a teaching material library. To use it, click on teaching tools and choose teaching material library. So the main idea here is that you don't need to search for some specific images on the internet and then upload them one by one. And with the teaching library, you can find some simple but very useful and helpful images for most popular subjects and make your classes so much more interesting. You can use these images to create EDB files and then use them in your class or upload them directly while you are teaching. So all these small details will make your classes a way more interactive and entertaining. And the last thing that I'd like to show you today is an updated style of Blackboard operations. 
So before to use most of them, you basically needed to use different shortcuts and hit extra keys on your keyboard. But now the whole process is a way more intuitive and easy. Now every image shape or text on your blackboard has this little gray circle. And if you click on it, you can easily rotate your objects, change and lock the size of it, lock the whole image or text or bring it to front, send it to back copy or delete it. And with text, you can do the same stuff. And also you can change the size and color of a font. And this is just really, really awesome. You can change color of shapes as well. So now you have a full control on every single object on your blackboard before or during the class. And you can use this feature while teaching. So yeah, that's just really amazing. All right, guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video and I would really appreciate if you can hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. So that's it. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.